It's a terrifying scene as a popular bachelorette contestant is rushed to the hospital. It was one of the scariest things I've ever seen. David Ravitz was placed in intensive care after sustaining a traumatic injury during the middle of the night. Hey, David, remember me? How are you? But last oh, night, you. he returned to the bachelorette house. He's black and blue after suffering multiple facial injuries, including a broken nose. So what happened to David? He fell out of bed and landed on his face. Oh, my God. Yes, he fell out of his bunk bed, and social media wasted no time making light of it. Did David just lose to a bunk bed? Went one crack? That's a joke. But this is no laughing matter. More than 36,000 people are treated for bunk bed related injuries each year. Some of them are left fighting for their lives. Can you make a fist for me? Like this young man who fell seven feet to the ground and landed straight on his head after rolling off his college bunk bed while he was asleep. We had to uh, get emergency brain surgery. The surgeon came to tell us that Clark was in bad shape. He said he's if, if we don't operate, he's going to die. And if we do operate, he still might not make it. Mary Ellen Jacobs remembers the agony as her 20-year-old son Clark was in a coma for 10 weeks. I'm facing the fact that my son might be gone. And the thought of that happening was just horrible. Eventually, he woke up, but he had to relearn everything, how to walk, talk, and eat. And here he is today. Oh my gosh, I can't even describe, like, the amount of hard work I had to do was obscene. Four years later, Clark's now back in school at Georgia Tech University, but still struggles with memory, coordination, and fatigue. It's mentally unbelievably exhausting. This family says these accidents, like what we saw on The Bachelorette, are completely preventable, which is why they launched a nonprofit called Rail Against the Danger. They're fighting to make all bunk beds safe by installing a simple bed rail. Just two by fours and bolts, and it's just, you can see how basic it is. That's all it takes to make a bed safe. And that's exactly what they did on The Bachelorette. I David proofed the beds. 